So this is the part two of getting you guys set up and ready to go to start hacking Pokemon Emerald games using Decompiled, just like I've got here. So what I want to show you to do is how to set up Poi Maps, which is this tool I've got in front of me. How to set up Poi Script, which allows you to do this coding and compile it all together. So first, I want to talk a brief bit about Poi Script. This isn't mandatory to use. I just think it's a lot easier to sort of code with. As you can see, this is how a script looks. And this is what will happen when you interact with a, either a character on screen or trigger certain events. And it's very easy to do as you've got these brackets that help you contain and see what you're looking at. There is an except extension here called Poor Script, which allows you to have highlighting. Um, and all this does is get converted in the compiler into an ink file. An ink file is what is actually used by the game itself. This is the default one. If you prefer to use it, go ahead. This is what it looks like. So this is what comes out of the Pori script. I find this is a lot bigger and a lot harder to bounce around, especially when you have various call scripts going from here to here to here to here. Um, while this one has it very much in a simple flow for you to follow. So to be able to set one of these up, there's a couple of things we need to do first. First one is we need to set up a GBC. C, it's AGBCC. I didn't talk about it in the previous version because it's only really you. I only really seem to need it when I'm using poor script. If you're just using without, you can tend to flip, uh, skip over this part. What we want to do is open up your terminal. So we have here is my terminal, and I'm running in my location. If you don't remember this, you can do it from the previous place. You're going to go into this file here. This is just in the Pokey Emerald install. I'll again, add it into the description. You want to copy this. In the root, you're going to uh, run this command. What it's doing is it's cloning the AGBCC code into your place, into your machine. It's then going to change directory, so it's going to go into that file. Then going to run the build command. Uh, build will just run a script which we're in, uh, downloading. We're then going to install it, and we're going to pass it in onto the, the root. Um, should hopefully pass without any issue in the moment. So I'll come back once it's passed. So it actually failed for me and you'll probably find it will fail for you. And that's because in this install, it's trying to go into the dot dot slash Pokey Emerald location, but you can see that doesn't exist for us. If we go up a level, there is no Pokey Emerald location. So what we actually want to do is run dot slash install dot sh and then just put dot dot and then you'll see it will successfully install. That's if you follow it exactly. Um, again, I'll put this in the description for you guys just to copy it over the fixed one. Okay, once we have uh, AGBCC installed, I'm gonna go again, upper layer, so back into my root. I'm going to go to Pori Script releases tag 3.40. So you can search for GitHub Pori Script, and on the side here, you can click releases. And we're going to download the Linux zip. The reason we're doing the Linux one is because we are running through a Linux shell. Debian is a Linux shell. Um, I don't want to get too technical. I know we're, I'm using a Windows machine. A lot of you guys will be doing the same, but trust me, this is needed. It's just telling the computer to compile through a Linux area. We need that. Once it's downloaded, you will be able to open up and you'll see the command font and this poor script file. You want to copy those and go into the root folder of where you stored your code. Go into Tools, and you're going to create a new folder called Poi Script. And in here, we're going to copy those three files. This is just some code which is going to be running to tell, to, to tell the um, computer how to put together our code and what to do when making it. So there is actually a file called a make file. So we open up our code again, open up that make file, this line, basically, it's a load of code that is telling us how we want to compile our machine, how we want to compile all of our code into a playable game. Okay, so we're going to throw in what it says here. Um, this is a...
So in our make file, we're going to be adding four lines in. So the first line we want to add is just below JSON proc. We want to add in a script, tools, poly script, poly script. This is pointing to that file we just added and we'll run it when we need to. I'll put all of these in the description again for you to add. Next, below sound, we're going to add this data. Again, is going to be calling those configs. We want to add our new Pori endpoints. So our new Pori files are going to be readable. And then finally, we want to add this, uh, this cleanup. This just cleans up everything when we're finished. Once you've got those four lines, you're pretty much good to go. You can test this by opening up here. And once again, you can run make, just make, and then however you've got, and it should successfully run for you. You're not going to see any code working at the moment because you haven't run any Pori script. We can then jump in and start coding using Pori scripts by just opening a new file. Uh, so we can, we can go into a file. So here we've got our player's bedroom. We currently have just scripts inc. We want to create one, we can get a new file, scripts.pori. Uh, we have this new file here. And one great thing you can do, you can take an existing INC file and just go raw, put this, this bracket comment in, and you'll be able to, and this will now output exactly what you have in the INC. So it allows us to make changes from INC files to voice group files quick and easy. Okay, fantastic. The last thing I quickly want to show you how to do is pull remaps. So again, you can search pull remaps and the top choice one is this GitHub pull remaps. And just the same way we've done it for Poly script, we're going to open up the releases on the side, pick your version, Windows, download the file, and then you just want to copy it, extract it to wherever you want. I've got, I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. From there, you're just going to be able to open up inside the executable and it will open up a window. Um, I can show you, I've got one open already. When you've got a new file, you want to open a project, find the location of it. Um, you want to do it in the root folder. So we've got one here. Open it up just where you're seeing all of this, these folders. Select this folder. When you first open up a project, it will tell you in the middle, oh, what version is this? Make sure you pick Pokemon Emerald. And within a couple of seconds, you now have opened your thing. And you can start making changes on the map, making drawing and changes as you wish. The next one I'll start to talk about how I actually use the maps to make changes and do the coding to make changes. If you have any questions, put them in the comment. Is there anything specific you're trying to do that you actually want to see how it's done? Again, drop a comment and I'll do a guide walking through it.